Hello, this short five minute film shows you how to use calibration data to make a calibration curve and then to use that calibration curve to make some analysis of data collected in the lab. So here's some data, I'm calling it cal data, and this is data that I've collected in the lab. And notice it's in XY format, so X is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and Y is roughly 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And what I want to do is use this data to come up with an equation that I can then use to analyze some lab results. So the first thing I want to do here is I want to do, I want to plot this data to make sure that it is, it is indeed linear. So I'm going to do a quick plot. I notice that it is linear. So I can now go ahead with the next step. My next step is to fit that data to an equation. So I'm going to call that cal data fit, and I'm going to do a linear model fit of that data. The data is cal data, and I'm fitting it to x. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Notice it's a pretty ugly looking thing, so I'm going to suppress that and show my cal data fit as something a little bit more normal looking. And there's my equation that describes the calibration data. So notice that the form here is y equals b plus mx. Okay, how do I use this thing that I just made here, this cal data fit? Well, suppose x is 6. You can look at the data up there. And if x is 6, what do you think y is going to be? Well, y is going to be something around 12. Well, let's find out for sure. So let's use our cal data fit. And let's see what the value of y is if x is 6. So I'm going to evaluate that and I get something around 12, actually pretty close to 13. So that's what my data looks like. Now what about if in the lab I collect a whole bunch of data. I collect 7, 8, 9, and 10. And again this is going to be my x data. Okay. And I'd sort of like to see what the structure of this data looks like. So I'm going to do something you haven't seen before, but this should make some sense. I'm going to show this as a table form. Notice that I have four rows here. I don't have any columns here. So I just have four, four rows. Suppose I need to use, I need just the number nine out of that. Well, what I would do is I would say lab data, bracket, bracket, uh, row four, close my double brackets. If I evaluate that, I show up. I got a 10 there. I wanted the 3 because 9 is in the 3. There we go. So that's how I point at that data. So if I want to know uh, where 9 is, it's in lab data bracket bracket 3. Okay. So now for my results, because I have a data set here, I'm going to make myself a little table. And what I, what I want to have there is I want to actually see my lab data and I want to see every row of my lab data. So this line here, lab data row, is going to show me my 7, 8, 9, and 10 again. Now I want to use that data in I'm going to, my, my equation of, of best fit is called cal data. And what I want it to, the x value for that is going to be all of the data points in lab data. And those are all in rows. Okay. And so I'm just building my table here. And then what does row mean? Row means I have one, one rows 1 through 4. So that's my 7, 8, 9, and 10. And if I evaluate this now, there we go. I get my data. And probably what I want to do is I probably want to grid this data so it looks a little prettier. We won't worry about labels. So there's my data. So he, I, what I did right here is I used my linear fit. I used that equation uh, to come up with my results of my lab. So my calibration data is up here. I fitted it to a straight line. I tested my fit to make sure it's going to give me results that make some sense. Now I have a bunch of data that I want to work on. So I built a small table where I showed here's my x value and here's my new, my new y values. Okay, I hope this helps, and we'll see you in the lab.